Hey, what's up everybody? I just want to do a, well, it won't be quick, but I want to do a nighttime tour of my house. It's pretty much done, minus some art pieces. Um, and I'll just leave it at that. I'm not going to go over any crypto stuff, but uh, for those who are wanting to know, um, other than the uh, club tokens uh, that I'm in pretty heavy, uh, Colt Dow is my number one. I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to shill it on this video. You can do your own research. Uh, but that, to me, is going to be the next big play. Now, I know we live in a world, uh, in the, especially in the crypto space, of... Hmm. How should I say it? There's just a lot of stuff to choose from, obviously, right? And everybody has different opinions. Uh, they get different vibes, stuff like that. Um, and I'll just say this. Uh, look, to get to this level, and this is obviously not a direct flex, but it is a flex nonetheless, because the, the thing is, is I think people forget that this is what this is about. Or well, at least for me, right? Uh, I'm in the middle at age 45, of living out the dreams that I thought I would want as a kid. I'm already here in present, retired. I don't work. I haven't been working for probably 10 years other than the business that I built and sold, which obviously gave me the capital to invest my place in the crypto. And obviously last year, y'all know the routine. I did a seven figure cash out and then the games began. But having said that, where we're at now, it's a complete shit show. Y'all know it. It's a complete shit market. We're all in it. We're all in the middle of it. Ain't nobody making no money. I don't care what anybody tries to flex on the internet. Other than, you know, there, look, obviously there's going to be some people that are playing ball. Y'all know my story. Look, I have NFTs that pay me out uh, $65,000 a month. That maintains my lifestyle that I have now but uh, back to back, anyways back to Colt I'm in Colt top 50 wallet I'm going to stay there uh, for those of y'all who know me and know my wallet address you can obviously uh, obviously see that I have not sold shit and I don't plan on it until we catch a 100x or a 1000x run up whenever that's going to be bone I'm going, uh, well, I, I, I got into Bone uh, at 40 and then sold at, I don't know, $1.30. So I'm just trying to wait to buy back in, but I will be getting back into Bone and then obviously Luna Classic. Those are the only three projects that I hold. Um, I, uh, I don't shop shit coins uh, that I constantly see on my Twitter. I just don't do it. Even though I did get duped. But that's okay, hey, right? We win and we lose. It's all good, right? I staked that shit coin and so I can't cash out until, I don't know, freaking sometime in February. But anyways, uh, other than that, um, I wish all my fans well, even, you know what I'm saying. But just my advice to anyone who gives a shit is, um, get your bag and just hold. I know it's not sexy. I get it. It's boring. The charts suck. You just got to find some way to entertain yourself. And then wait. I personally don't, I personally believe that we're not going to have another run up until end of 2024, 2025. That's just what I think. That doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Look, I would love it to run up next year. I just don't see it happening. Uh, the macro sucks. The whole world view sucks. So it is what it is, right? So just chill the hell out. And if you want to chase shit coins to try to catch a 2x, more power to you. But look. I just, man, I, I'm trying not to be an asshole when I say this because uh, I'm not being one. 
but you're never going to get where you want to go by doing that. Get your position and just continue to purchase on red candles, not green. Good Lord, people. <laughs> and then just hold and wait for the rip. My advice. Other than that, God damn, I'm already five minutes into this. So let me flip this around. I'm going to give you all a inside and outside tour of my house. And I will wrap it up after that. All right, so this is my office. I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to kind of do the tour and I'll stay quiet. So those are ceiling to ground windows. Obviously y'all will see the outside of that when I go outside. What's up, Shiva? What are you doing? <laughs> You're probably going to hear a click clacking. Yes, that's a two-story closet. We'll head outside in a little bit. I'm not going to go through every room, just kind of stay downstairs. I'm not, oh, yeah. We can go upstairs, show you the media room. This little arcade room I set up. Love these light switches. Media room. Come on, butthead. So that's upstairs, obviously, down here. There are bedrooms and our sauna room. I'm not going to go down there. And Jennifer's office is up there as well. So this is basically downstairs. Um, it's whatever. What's up, Sebastian? Got a little butler pantry here. Uh, Jennifer does her coffee and tea. Yes, we are very minimalistic. We do not have a lot of stuff in our house. We don't want a lot of stuff in our house. 
wine room. Let's go inside. Damn, I can already hear him racing. So there's the corner of the house. You can see sheep right there. Obviously I have the blinds up for the video. Usually my privacy blinds are down so you can't see directly through. But to me that is what sold the house was that corner section right there. That's so sick. Work my way around to the garage side. I'm taking the vet out tonight. Here's the X6M and the GT500. You walk around. Empty space over here for the vet. carbon wheels obviously this has the carbon track pack so gorgeous All right, let's go to the back.
What's up, Shebas? Hmm? All right, so that is basically it, everybody. All right, so that's that. That's the damn tour. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Because I know Jennifer and myself, we did, or we do. Um, and it's crazy if you think about it that crypto pays for all of this shit. And then our next move, which are going to be even bigger. Uh, unfortunately, we were I did not cash out enough to fill my... Well, I don't want to... Refer, uh, let me rephrase that. Because I did go through three GTRs, a Lambo, a Bentley, Continental GT Speed. Um, two GT500, the Shelby truck, two Shelby GT500s, the Beamer, the M8. So I was able, <laughs> I don't want to say that, but I'm not at the levels of, and this house is just 6,800 square feet, but I'm not, ideally we want 10 to 12,000 square feet. And then I need a five, a five car garage, but I need to be able to get to the level to where I can have a Bentley, a McLaren 765. Uh, a Ferrari 488 Pista. Uh, I'm just not there yet. But the next bull run, I will. So, not like y'all care. It is what it is. I'm just glad that uh, we're alive in these times, even though uh, right now it sucks. It is what it is, right, everybody? So, um, that's that. I hope you enjoyed it. So, hit me up on Twitter if you need me. Late.